Hello, hello, my name is Sophia King and today I have a bead haul and I wanted to do a first impressions just because one of them is a mystery package and I'm really curious to see what's inside. My first purchase is from Amazon. I usually wouldn't order from them, but I had a gift card. I tried to take most of the packaging off camera so that we wouldn't have to deal with this. Here it is. They are glass beads and they're in the shape of little butterflies. And I got this in a six millimeter because I liked things to have a little bit of a punch. This other one is a rondel shape, a faceted rondel shape. I found that I like the rondel shape because it adds visual interest a pretty nice color story they're kind of classy and came with some elastic a pair of scissors it's kind of rusted next up is a vendor that I found on Etsy they're called Zilish Bead if you're ever on Etsy and you find somebody make sure you check if they have their own website because then they get more of the profits and not Etsy taking a big cut out of it this time I went on their website I got some stars these are very kawaii I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it but I wanted to try something different and then I got some frosted beads I told you in my previous video that depending on the finish of the beads you could have a different look those are frosted these are iridescent you see the different effects that you can have that will change the tone got some star these are also iridescent this is what i was most excited about i have been making mass chains and the little lobster class that are for traditional jewelry it's so tiny i struggle with having them fit my fabric mask so i think these are an excellent size and they've got some spunky colors so i'm excited about that that's all I ordered, but they gave me some candy. See, this is the thing about supporting small businesses. You always get funky extras. This is a sticker and business card. Now I've got candy. This is squirts in pineapple mango. I'm hungry, so I will just eat it now. Next, I have something from Fire Mountain Gems and Beads usually they give you like a free gift and they've been strings of beads but this time they gave me a pencil now the first thing very boring i bought some more covers because i want to keep practicing this is a bunch of multicolored beads I bought them before, but this time the color story is really different. That's something about Fire Mountain that I want to warn you about. The pictures may not match what you receive, especially in terms of color. I've returned some things because it was like, this is not what I was expecting based on the product photos. And the thing about them is they also only show one product photo. You can zoom into it, but there's not multiples. Okay. Very different from the picture that I saw online. The color is a lot darker and for some reason I thought these were going to be translucent. So this is not what I was going for, but I'm not going to return it. It's cost too much in shipping. It is what it is. These are some hearts that I got. Six millimeters. I am pleasantly surprised by this. They're very cute. They almost look like little candies. My mystery bag. So Fire Mountain does this thing where you can buy a pound of beads. You don't know what's going to be inside. There might be beads, there might be jewelry components or whatever, but it's $9.50. Remember those Sanrio bags when you were younger? That's what this reminds me of. We will see. Interesting. Oh, it's going to take me a while to get through all of these. I don't know how much of this is going to be usable. Okay, I could use this. These are jump rings and some closures in a toggle and then a clasp version. I hope that this doesn't rust, but it doesn't say anything about what material it's out of. It is made in China. I will report back how much of it is usable and cute versus... Oh yeah, I can see why they're trying to get rid of this. 
It took me a while to sort through the whole boss bag, but I finally did it and I've labeled some of the things that I could identify. Unfortunately, there are a lot of parts in here that I don't know what it is. Thankfully, Fire Mountain sends a catalog, so I've been able to see what it is from there, but there are a lot of things that I don't have a use for. If you're a beginning beater, I would not recommend purchasing the mystery bag. I don't think I would ever purchase it again. The most disappointing thing is is that pile of rocks on the bottom right. I don't know why they're sending rocks and then got a bunch of gold crimp beads and that's gonna come in so handy for me while I level up my skills. I think the sea glass pearls are very pretty but overall it's a bunch of ununiform things that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. Wish me luck. I think none of these bags are supposed to be identical so if you've ever bought a boss bag let me know in the comments what you received. Were you surprised? Was it worth it for you? Now let's get back to the regular programming. Fire Mountain has increased their shipping costs because it is $6.99. And I don't know if they've increased it temporarily because USPS has said that during the holidays they're going to up their prices or if this is just a side effect of COVID. But $6.99 for any order that is below or at 20 pounds. Keep that in mind. And also if you order 15 plus items, you get a special pricing tier where things are going to be a little bit cheaper, but I've never reached that quota. So the last bit of my haul is from BB Craft. They're based in China. Considering that it came relatively quickly, about a week, I want to say. And part of the reason why this didn't come around the same time my other ones did is because I reached out to them about these pearls. Uh, so I, I guess I'll start with these. One was an antique white and one was a creamy white. And from the pictures, they look the same. So I emailed them and said, hey, I'm based in the US. I don't want to have to return anything. Can you just tell me which one's more yellow because in these photos they look exactly the same. They got back to me within two days and then they took a picture of the pearls out of the bag without having it Photoshop and that helped me decide to get these. They are pretty good quality, I want to say. The only time that I've ordered pearls before was from Fire Mountain. And with Fire Mountain, they classify the pearls in terms of grade. And I think I got a C grade one time and a B grade one time, but they're both kind of nicked. And so these didn't say anything about grade. They just said that it is from Freshwater Pearls. And I got two strands. This is what I was looking for. Next, these Lily Fiori beads. They're so tiny. The website, it said that they were going to be four millimeters and six millimeters. Looking at them, it seems like they're closer to four. So it's a little bit smaller than what I would have liked, but I think I can make them work. Lastly, this is a slightly unconventional pick. The pictures look lighter than this and have more white floral pattern. They're 10 millimeters. Like I said, I'm trying to do bigger things instead of everything being so twee. For my body type, if anything is too dainty, it doesn't look good on me proportionally. That's just my opinion. Wrapping things up, I want to say that I'm pretty pleased with most of the stuff that came in. I will say always inspect your beads after they've arrived. For example, some beads, they're covered in this white powder. It smells, so I ended up washing the beads. The other thing is sometimes if you get packets like this, um, there might be some where the hole didn't pierce through all the way, so you have to toss it. If the bead is really tiny, you just get broken pieces and it can get lodged in there. I found the best way to get those itty bits out is to use a needle, um, just kind of poke it through. If that doesn't work, I'm sorry, you just have to toss it. Personally, I like to get things that are in sets that come in 
different colors or even if it's kind of the same flower beads that they have a variety of color because then if you don't like something at least there's some parts that are usable whereas something like the leaf beads that I got or these it's like oh you don't like it you're stuck with it and you just have to make it work so that's my tip if you have any experiences of pleasant surprises or not so pleasant surprises share them in the comments below and happy Halloween and happy beating. See you next time. Bye!